Hey guys, it's your boy Swag bringing you another Avabel video. And in this one, I'm actually doing it with my new Alliance members from Troll. I'm here right now with their GM, Chocobo. Who, dude, I'm doing a video, man. Stop trying to stand in front of me. But yeah, man, I was thinking about doing the video on Gothic when they try to spend an hour trying to troll me. But you know, because of the events that happened that day, it actually led to me forming the alliance that I have with Chocobo. Now, me and Chocobo had cross paths already, you know, outside of Avabel on a Avabel page. And when we ran into each other in game, we started talking. And I thought, you know what? Let, I, let our guilds have an alliance and see how things work out. And, you know, so far, it's pretty good, man. So, you know, I mean, I tend to run my guild a little bit serious. Just, you know, that's my personality. But if you guys, you know, just looking for a guild where you want to be able to just kind of troll people without actually being jerks like the Gothic Guild, and, you know, just joke around with people, go oh, give them a look up. And before I forget, don't forget, check uh, out my friend, oh man, she's going to kill me if I don't pronounce her name right, Isel from the Celestica Guild. I'm pretty sure I messed that name up again. Izzy, please don't kill me. But neither way, they're still recruiting. Trolls recruiting. I'm recruiting. Now, since summer happened, a couple of my members have taken off from the game for summer break and whatnot. And you know, I understand that. A couple of members have, uh, you know, well, they have lives. You can't you know, expect everyone to be on every day all the time. But they told me they were going to be taking a leave of absence. So, you know what? Don't worry, man. I'll keep their spots for them. And if, when they come back, it'll be like they never left, uh, except we'd all be a few more levels higher. But either way, I've been recruiting and got a couple of more actives, so it's all good. Now, other thing is, I'm currently at 48 subscribers, and I want to say to every one of you, thank you. I didn't think I was going to get one subscriber let alone 48. I mean, wow, I can't believe like, you know, I'm about to hit 50 subscribers and I only just started doing this. So guys, truthfully, thank you. And so what I decided to do is once I reach 60 subscribers, I'm actually going to do a video announcing what I plan on doing, which I'm probably going to end up doing a challenge dungeon and I'm going to pick four subscribers who, lead, who on the video that when I bring up what's going to happen, I'm going to want you guys to leave your in-game name and your level. And I'll contact you, I'll inbox you through YouTube, let you know the, the date and the time, you know, Eastern Standard Time. I know, you know a lot of people who play like uh, in the Philippines and Japan, sometimes may not be best, but I'll try and figure out a time that's not too crazy for anyone. But either way, you know, I'm going to do the, I'm going to do a video of us doing the, oh man, wow, brain fart. Doing the challenge dungeon, maybe a weapons dungeon or the armor dungeon or something. And, you know, see how fast we can clear it. And I'm going to record it, so if you want to be on YouTube, if you want to be in one of my videos, yep, this could be your chance. So guys, once I, once I reach 60 subscribers, I'll make that video. And I'm going to choose four people. Now, one person who gave me this idea, I'm going to make sure to include her. And I just got to say, you know, once again, guys, thank you very much. And if you want to be part of that video, you know, hit that subscribe button. And you know, while you're at it, why not hit that like button? Now, another thing I wanted to talk about is I've been listening to a lot of other people and there's been a lot of talk about hackers going on. And when I mean a lot of talk, I mean a lot of talk. Apparently, uh, one prominent guild who's a constant tower winner is being accused for harboring a lot of hackers. 
And I went online. I was trying to find some games that were ruined by hackers, and it was kind of hard to find like a game that really was messed up. But I did find things where they were talking about how hackers do tend to stay in the guild, and you know they're like, oh, keep this in the guild because if this gets out, the developers are gonna try and patch it. And you know, this past battle, tower battle that pa happened, I gotta admit. Something did happen that was a bit questionable, and ooh, looks like this battle came to an end. Now, one thing I can't figure out is how come your name doesn't always appear if it's your room or your party? Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to transition to another video, rush to trying to get some uh, extra kills and experience. But anyway, so what was I saying? Yeah, so the um, things with the hackers, this past tower battle, I don't know what happened, but I was going after Tower C, I can't remember its name, and I always go just for fun, just for kicks, and just to cause random trouble, and so somewhere I got hit by a blizzard for about 2200 per hit. Now, I had a stat bonus. My HP was around 4,000, I mean 4, and I get two hitted by a blizzard? Especially because I had my defense missed, my anti-magic on, and I'm still being hit that hard? Something didn't seem right. And I don't care if you're at level 90 and you had like a nine star, I doubt you'd be able to hit me that hard for normal damage. Either way, so there's been a lot of talk about hackers, and I mean, guys, I'm going to say this. I don't support hacking just as much as I don't support, you know, people who want to be jerks and try and ruin the game for people by trying to troll them like that. It's not, it's just not right. I mean, why, why are we going to try and do our best when this person is just going to sit there and be like, oh, it's only a game. Why are you complaining? Well, damn. If it's only a game, well, what if the I, what if it was the World Cup and somebody was cheating, right? I, I'm pretty sure a lot of fans would have been pretty upset if they found out that their team lost because Germany was cheating. I mean, I, I know a lot of people are really upset, but why would they be upset? It's only a game, right? Why are there rules? Why are there policies? It's only a game. You know what? Because people do this because they want to be able to relax, have fun, and keep it fair. And if you say it's the developer's fault because they didn't patch it, no, it's not the developer's fault. It's your fault because you're the one who is cheating. It's not playing fair. It's called cheating. If it was meant for you to do, then it would be built into the game for you to do. Now I know that there are like you know some random glitches in the game, like you know people are uh, talking about the one where you're able to equip uh, return wings to your action bar, and you know I don't know why that you're not able to do that regular. I mean I spend about 20 seconds and look trying to get to, to a return wing to get off the floor. But, you know, developers um, haven't made it like that. I hope they do. <laughs> but, you know, things like that, you know, little tiny glitches, but when you hack him so that you're doing massive amount of damage when you shouldn't be able to hit that hard, when you are level seven and you're running around as a lost speller or a paladin with the critic with the critical hit buff and the exorcist uh, shining laser and yeah I am referencing another video that I have seen yeah but none of this stuff is right shouldn't be there I mean that's the case yo developers make it there so everyone can have every skill every ability I mean it'd be fun to see a, a gladiator uh, healing himself for you know, 2,500 uh, hit points at the same time he's dealing 10,000 damage to everyone else at the same time. 
But either way, enough about that. Also, on the rumor mill is that the game developers are going to be releasing the new update soon. Apparently, pets are going to be uh, making it into the game. So let's see how that goes. Hopefully, it won't be uh, too OP or game-breaking. I don't know what they're going to do, but I'm hoping it's going to be like other games where they'll provide you with a little help, maybe a, you know, a random heal old or something. But looks pretty cool, so I'm hoping. So guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about the hacking problem and you know the update coming on. I want to know what you guys think. Because these problems, as far as the hacking go, the developers need to do something. The new update looks like it's going to be cool. So I'm ho I have a lot of hope for the game. So guys, as always, leave a like, subscribe, and hey, maybe you'll appear in my next YouTube video. Peace.